Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and how to use an atomic clock to build something like a time standard. And imagine you have no Wi-Fi, even if you have an ESP32 that is able to set up a Wi-Fi connection. Today I want to focus on how to use a Ublox Neo 6M module to achieve a precise time reading without a Wi-Fi connection and without using maybe SNTP or the simple network time protocol. And I'm using this module that came with an antenna connector and also with an onboard battery for keeping the real-time clock information. And it also came with an header connector and on the back side there's written what we can connect and I'm only using the 3.3 volt VCC input, the ground connection and also the transmit pin because I don't want to change any configuration of the module so I don't transmit some data from the ESP32 to the module. And I only want to transmit the GPS and time data from the module to the ESP32. And I'm using an O let i square c display module to show the time and as mentioned it's wired via i square c so i use the i square c bus connection from the esp32 and to debug and flash the esp32 i also use an uart to usb converter and all of the module I ordered from AliExpress. So this is the module I ordered for maybe three dollars, including shipping. And I'm ordered also one of the i square c OLED display. And as you see, there's not only the i square c version, there's also some kind of SPI bus driven versions. And there are also different versions for the color. So there's a blue version, a two color version and also a white version. So just order the right one that you like. And here we see the whole setup on the bench. We see first the UART converter that's also providing the power for all modules. Here we see the VCC and ground connection and also the transmit and receive line. And this is the i square c bus connection for the display, the data and the clock line. And here we see also the Ublox Neo GPS module. And this is a close up. So here are the connection for the module. And on the back side, that's written which pin we write. So this is the reason why I connected this um, up to front. So we only use VCC ground and the transmit pin. And we can cut the transmit pin that we see our clock is starting in some kind of initial state and then we can connect the module and we see the update of the clock just to the actual time. So and we can also disconnect the display and as you see the display is freezed and we can connect it back. Now we can do a reset again and in seconds we achieve the right time. And this is the display module, the backside with the i square c bus and we can also select if we like a different address. And this is the front. So we only have four connections in our connect header. So just insert it in the breadboard and it runs fine. So now let's have a brief look into the source code. We start in just in the main routine one task and that's the OLED clock task and I switch to the task. We use the U8G2 library to display all the fonts and graphic on the display. And I just set the right type of my display and initialize the U8G2 variable and set also the i square c address but I'm not sure if this is necessary. For my display, this is necessary. So I use this, then I initialize the display 
wake up the display from power saving if necessary and then we just run to an endless loop and the endless loop just achieve every 10 minutes the gps update if we run out of the correct time then we print the time to the display and we just sleep one second so let's have a look at the print time function and we read the actual time from our esp32 module set the right time zone i'm in central europe so i use the central europe time zone then i get the local time to an time structure and then i just print out with the UAG library or the readings to the display. So I set the font data, then I print out the time, the hour, the minutes, the seconds, then I change the font and also write the year, months and day out to the display. And then I'm having some kind of bar graph display for the hour, minute and the seconds. So Next, we look to the GPS module functions. I use this obtain time and the obtain time create a background task to set the local time of the ESP32. So we look into the GPS task and the GPS task start by initializing the second UART driver. And as we see, we use the UART number one. UART starts by zero, so we use the second UART peripheral. And we also set the pins for the UART. I use pin 70 for the transmit pin and 16 for the receive pin. Let's look into the initialized UART. We just set the right baud rate. The UBLOX GPS module runs with a baud rate of 9600 and the 8-bit data, no parity, one stop bit and also no hardware flow control. Then we just set the pins and in install the UART driver. Then I use also a second library, the min mea library from GitHub and I'm reading out the mea sentence for the RMC and if we get one of the RMC sentence, then we collect the time, data, hours, minutes, seconds, year, months, day, and so on. And with MK time, we create a Unix timestamp and we use the set time of day function to set the actual ESP32 time. Then we leave this loop and deinitialize the UART peripheral with this function we just delete the driver and then we destroy the task and that's it i hope you find this useful and enjoy the video and learn something if so please give me a thumbs up and support my work for my videos write some comments and i hope you have a nice day and bye bye